stop the bipartisan warmongers of Washington who constantly beat their war drums, who have pushed us to the precipice of World War III and a nuclear catastrophe. Now, President Eisenhower warned us clearly in his farewell address about these people, those in Washington who bend the knee to their bosses in the military-industrial complex and then shrug their shoulders and look the other way at the costly, damaging, and potentially catastrophic consequences of their, decision, of their decisions, the cost that every one of us pays. We need leaders who are committed to peace, strength, and prosperity, because we cannot be truly prosperous as a nation unless we are at peace. Unfortunately, war is sometimes necessary to defeat those who threaten the safety, security, and freedom of the American people. And as a soldier serving now for almost 21 years in our military and still serves today, I know this firsthand. But I also know that war must always be a last resort after all other avenues have been exhausted. We need leaders who are committed to upholding the rule of law, who are committed to keeping our communities safe and securing our borders. In our America, we must come together inspired by love, love for God, love for others, love for our country, because we live in the greatest country in the world. It's filled with potential for us to stand together and build a brighter future and a more perfect union where every American can live free in peace and with opportunity for prosperity. To make this future a reality, we must not only come together in spaces like this with our brothers and sisters who agree with us, we also have to reach out to those who we may not agree with on every issue, but who love this country as we do and who are just as frustrated with those abusing their power as we are, whether they're Democrat, Republican, Independent, or Lib Libertarian, we must stand together as fellow Americans who cherish peace and freedom, cherishing our commitment to save our country and defend our republic. Those in power in America today are leading this great nation toward the suicide Abraham Lincoln warned of. If we do not act now, we will look back at this very moment with regret, but we won't be able to say that we had no warning. By God's grace, we are free and we will remain free. God bless you all. God bless America. Let's go and save our country. Thank you so much.